<laughs> Actually, you know what? <laughs> Hold up. Saludos. <laughs> I'm gonna say happy Sunday fun day and cheers to you. Um, <laughs> here I am doing some work online. And by the way, I'm at my friend's little studio apartment over here in uh, downtown Las Vegas, Nevada. It's really nice and peaceful when people are not around. <laughs> as much as I wanted to get more work done um, or consume more information and do some work, um, it's been a challenge because a lot of people I haven't seen for quite some time. They, they've been wondering what the heck, I, where I've been, MIA, what I've been doing, what's going on with my family, um, sharing some experiences and whatnot, what, what they've got going on, um, and them actually just receiving their love and their attention, you know, because it's been quite some time that I've had some interaction with uh, friends and family just because I've been gone on the road working and all you guys that have been following along for some time or this past couple weeks have an idea of how much I've been working and I can say the majority of my time that I've been over here off the truck has been actually resting last night after I cooked and served everybody dinner and ate dinner myself um, I actually fell asleep for 10 hours which is completely un <laughs> unusual for me I do not sleep much regularly and if I get a six hour day that's like awesome you know five six hours amazing but for my body to actually shut down and go no dude you have to relax <laughs> you really do have to relax and <sighs> what can I say I mean we have to listen to our body right you know I woke up this morning all bright-eyed and bushy-tailed and like whoa I actually slept <laughs> but I ended up cleaning up the place just to kind of give back for my friend allowing me to stay here for a couple of days which he never minds anyways but I'm just that type of person to cook clean bring stuff to the house you know never come empty-handed and always be a contribution wherever I may be um, it's something I've learned early on I remember my mom kind of saying some stuff like that about a person person shit starts to th stink after three days and that always stuck with me and if all that with all the houses that I've ever lived at you know I've got a lot of compliments from you know the parents or the head of the households just because I've always been a contribution I've always been a worker I've always been somebody who cooks and helps out and picks up after myself and goes above above and beyond you know I help out with different chores without people even asking me but that's all that's stuck with me throughout the years and I've I know I can go back to a lot of the people that I used to live with and they would embrace me with open arms so it's always a good thing not to burn those bridges and speaking of burning bridges here I am doing some work on the net and geez, you know, I, 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 I'm working with some mentors that are part of our, that are affiliates of our, um, our community, Six Figure, Six Figure Mentors Digital Experts Academy community. And it's dealing with, excuse me, working with Guy and Elon, really kickstarting this because of the blogs that I have together now, the blogs that I'm going to be dumping or putting on my site over the next couple of days next couple of weeks because I, I did have a lot of drafts and I never completed them um, I've, I've been sidetracked honestly I've just been sidetracked with work and the current situation with work and personal circumstances and family and death and whatnot but burning bridges I hope I don't burn bridges here I am supposed to fill out an agreement that I was supposed to fill out prior to Friday and oh, it's a slap in my face. I hope I don't burn this bridge <laughs> because I know these guys are well respected in, in the industry worldwide and um, there, there's no excuse. There's no excuse. It took me a while to even find this agreement. I was like, where in the heck is this agreement? Going through every single tab. And I was like, oh, here it is. And then I'm supposed to email people, but oh well. It is what it is. I'll take the burn. I'll take the heat. I'll take all the shit talking. I'll take whatever it is. 
Uh, just don't lock me out, all right? <laughs> I want this shit, I'm gonna get this shit, and I'm gonna make sure that I show up and follow through on my commitments. And not just to the group here, not just to the world here, but most importantly to myself and my future family because that's why I'm even doing all this. That's why I'm recording this process, that's why I'm going through this burn, that's why I'm learning and taking on these new skill sets, why I'm getting involved in the digital economy. Um, it's to appease myself and appease my family down the road. But anyhow, yeah, I just wanted to shoot a quick little video. Uh, excuse me. Let's show you a little something. It's always nice to be in a kitchen. By the way, I cooked an amazing breakfast this morning. <laughs> it was definitely a party in our mouth. Like, whoa! It's much better when you actually have a kitchen instead of just cooking on the road on the grill. And that's when you get extra creative out there or resourceful. But being in the kitchen, you get to work and move around, different pants, and it's, it's a great thing. <laughs> um, but I wanted to show you guys the little view. His little, it's kind of cute. Very nice. And here's here's a nice little overview. You get a good shot of this is actually downtown Las Vegas, old town Las Vegas, and that's the new Vegas. You know, everybody's like. Woo! Crazy madness. It actually gets pretty crazy down below, but I try to stay away from all that stuff. Or I do stay away from all that stuff. Every once in a while, I'll go down there, hang out with some of my friends, you know, because they're DJing at a bar or something. I don't know, or a little cocktail. Anyhow, I forget what casino it was, but I don't know if it's the D. That place, I think, used to be the Lady Luck Hotel and Casino, which. Which was my dad's actually a regular hotel and casino that he used to go to. It's funny. I don't know, he thought he was all big cheese, you know, making money, gambling, all that stuff. I remember as a kid, he always introduced me to bartenders and <laughs> you name it, but <clears throat> it's just really interesting to be here at older in age have been here, Laughlin, you name it, Reno, all the horse tracks throughout all the years. And, you know, like I shot the video the other night, uh, to have control over this, to not let it take over me or indulge me or even, even get involved. Like I said, I do enjoy a couple of drinks, but not even as much as I used to. It's, yeah. Um, I do enjoy music and dancing. It's it's in it's in me. It's something I accepted. It's something I've been blessed with when it comes to dancing. I I just like moving. And people are like, "Damn, dude, you're a good dancer." I was like, "Just keep on rocking." <laughs> but yeah, it, it's really nice to come out here, do some do some work, dabble, and I'm not saying dabble a little, but really put together. You know, I'm looking at my vlog, just like, wow. Took me a little time to write it, you know, or to complete it, and it's cool. I, I'm, I'm so glad that with the variety of things that I've seen and experienced, which we all have our own little story, which I'm open to hearing yours as well, if you actually are genuinely trying to provide and deliver value to the world, like I mentioned in the blog. <laughs> um, but it's really interesting to see go through my laptop, all the pictures that I have, you know, over 3,000 from different places around this country and the world and see how they fit in, how I can make it all work, how I can grab the attention and minds of the people that I'm actually trying to influence are my target market, my specific niche. And hopefully, or, you know, I hope my mentors can actually critique my work and let me know if that's fitting, if it's congruent and whatnot with the message that I'm trying to display and the audience that I'm trying to reach and how we can actually specifically target all these, uh, specifically target these individuals that are of the like mind or have any kind of or similar interests as I do. But it'll be interesting to see over the next, well, less than 90 days now, um, over the next 85 days, what I can actually create and the kind of momentum that I'm going to get going with 
doing uh, Facebook marketing and I'm gonna try to well not try I, you know because I do get the attention in mind the attention of the minds from Instagram so I'm gonna do a little spin with that and see what happens but with that just wanted to shoot a video check in with you guys much love keep doing your thing and big shout out to Lucy um, B, I forget how to say your name correctly, so don't be mad. <laughs> but for the individuals that are going to, through a hard time emotionally with family, friends, and loved ones uh, passing away, I know it's hard and troublesome, which I got to leave either later on tonight or early in the morning to show up to a funeral out there in Los Angeles. So hopefully I can keep, <laughs> keep strong as well, which I know I will, but just not be so sidetracked or emotionally swayed or... How is it? Go into isolation. I don't think I will, and that's why I, I continue to be involved and in, regardless of what's going on around me, uh, shoot these videos and get involved with the community and watch everybody's videos. So with that, I'm out. Much love. Peace.